Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. Industrial workbenches with integrated tool storage. And brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Next Gen, the most powerful detailing products ever made. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. And by Easy Uft, flip, lock, and go. All right, here we go. You're strapped into a top fuel dragster. Light turns green, you nail it to the floor. Man, you're pinned to the seat. You're going 100 miles an hour in less than a second. Welcome to this Amsoil Tech Tip. It's all about horsepower and torque, my friends. And I'll show you right here. There's a mathematical formula for it. Mathematically, horsepower equals torque multiplied by RPM. Well, we don't want to mess with all that math, so I'll tell you what, I'll show you an easy way we could do it. Now this is a weight right here on a pulley, and if I'm pulling it up and down, that basically exemplifies torque, the force to do it with. Now the rate I do it, if I do it really fast or really slow, the speed, that exemplifies horsepower. That's a good look at horsepower and torque, but actually the manufacturers build in that indicated horsepower. That's what's going on with the theoretical, you know what it's supposed to be. But you have frictional horsepower losses in there and what comes out is brake horsepower. Frictional losses like bearings, valves, crankshaft, oil pump, all kinds of stuff going on inside of there, Len. But you know, oil makes a difference in the motor and you've got two here and I see this 20 weight and 50 weight and if I shake them, well, they feel the same to me. Why is that? Well, that's because you're looking at those oils at room temperature and oil viscosity is not actually determined at room temperature. It's actually determined at 100 degrees C or 212 degrees F. And that brings us to this chart here. This is pretty interesting. All oils are not created equal, even though it says it's a 20 weight, there's a difference in there. That's correct. If you take a look at the right hand side of that chart, and pick out the 50 weight category since we're talking dragsters, the 50 weight uh, category is actually a range from 16.3 centistokes to less than 21.9. A centistoke is a way that you measure viscosity on a very fine, fine format. So the bottom line is you're either going to have protection or you're going to have performance. A little bit of each is going to blend into the oil. That's correct. You want a really good balance based on the type of equipment that you're putting the oil in. Check out Dominator Racing Oil at the AMSOIL website. At DragonfireTools.com, you can get a workbench that's over nine feet long, or if you don't have that much space, or you don't need that much space, seven feet, Lou. And this one has 17 drawers. Why is this one so popular? This is our 17 drawer Midnight Pro Series workbench. And the reason why this one is so popular in the seven foot series is because of these 41 inch wide drawers, Dave. They give you a lot of storage capacity and we also have a wide deep drawer there for even your tallest sockets. Well, let's talk about sockets now. How do they fit in the more shallow drawer? You can still stand deep well sockets up even in the shallow drawers and the drawers pull out 100%. So the stuff in the back of the drawer, you're gonna be able to get it from the front or the side of the drawer. I've used a few cheap toolboxes in my time, and if you overload the drawers, they're hard to open, they start to rack, they might be hard to close. How have you solved that problem at Dragonfire Tools? So we're using heavy duty rails on these drawers. The single rail drawers are rated for 200 pounds, and the deep double rail drawers are rated for 400 pounds. And what's the construction? What are these workbenches made out of? So we have a 14 gauge 304 stainless steel top on them. We have a 14 gauge tubular welded steel powder coated frame. We have a 16 gauge galvanized steel drawer bodies and we have 14 gauge drawer fronts with 14 gauge 304 stainless steel handles also. The quality is there. The pros love these things from dragonfiretools.com. You can go there and get one for yourself. Enter the promo code MOTORHEAD to get yourself a discount and free shipping. All right, check this out. We came across this 1978 Jeep Golden Eagle at the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion 2023 edition. It's a beautiful restoration by Jeff Black and the crew at Trucker's Warehouse. Now we talked to Jeff and he, we just had to make him the PaintedAutoParts.com Motorhead of the Week. Jeff says he bought this Jeep about eight months ago and it was a total rust bucket. Just look at it now. The interior upgraded from the original denim, but Jeff wanted to pay homage to that. So he still uses the original buttons on the seats. I mean, he thought of every detail. Under the hood, man, that is an upgrade as well. That's an LT motor that makes tons of power and get this, 600 pounds of torque. Jeff's always loved off-roading and since he bought Trucker's Warehouse, he says he's been upfitting more Jeeps than any other vehicle. By the way, Jeff's next project, well, he just bought 
1983 CJ7, and his plan is to have that one ready for the Jeep Invasion in 2024. If you're into things that go, cars, trucks, planes, boats, motorcycles, whatever it is, you could qualify to be Motorhead of the Week. Maybe you just like our show, and we're glad you do. Just send us a note at motorheadgarage.tv. Hey, I want to give a special shout out to our friends at PaintedAutoParts.com for sponsoring Motorhead of the Week. And a super special thanks to you for watching Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. We will do it again next week. We hope you join us then from our entire crew here at Motorhead Garage. We'll see you next time. Drive safely.